All right. Gerald, welcome back to the program. Hey, Jeff. Great being on with you. Thank you, my friend. How's it going? Oh, wonderful. It's wonderful that people are finally looking and seeing for themselves what's going on. And the second American Revolution is underway. People, we we call it the 20% solution. Uh 20% of the people out there, they don't buy corporate food. They don't eat eggs, for example. What was that? I love the names that they give to these factory farm, these chicken oh. coop concentration camps. Smiling Hill and chickens. Dale, that's it. Yeah. Hill, Hill and Dale, Dale. eggs. Yeah. Isn't that lovely? You know, little Hill and Dale and Sunnyvale Farms, you know. Yeah, How about always... Auschwitz Farms? There you go. They always have smiling chickens and smiling cows. Like, they're really yeah, yeah. happy mass about being produced, so... yeah. Mass consumed, mass murder. That's right. So, But, but there are 20% of the people that see through the facade. You think it's that and, high? Yeah, I, we do. Good. And, and it's not that we see it like that. It's because of different studies that have been done, like the Milgram effect, uh, where people were told to, uh, to torture other people. But there are 20% of the people that won't follow people of authority. Yeah. You know, there's a picture, a photo in the New York Times today of Hillary Clinton, and it's a, 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 um, a profile shot, and she looks so smug and arrogant. I wonder if Hillary is so smug because she's uh, made a deal, and Obama's a one-termer, of course, and she's going to be given the reins, and she just had to sit out four more years, and maybe that's behind her smugness. That woman has a history that few people even understand. I believe she was also on the board of Walmart. And by the way, people ask me, you know, what can we do to change? Here's one of the things. Don't go to Walmart. Don't go to Target. Don't go to Costco. Don't go to Sam's Club. Support your local merchant. Go to your farmer's market. Break the chains. Break the chains. Literally and metaphorically. Sure. Get your money out of the the damn uh, national banks, the Bank of America, the Thief of America, uh, Chase, all of those banks. Get your money into your local credit unions. Here's one for everybody. Don't take another sip of Coca-Cola, Pepsi-Cola, uh, uh, whatever the, 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 the sure. baloney kind of, you know, Arizona teas, whatever this stuff is. Yeah. Stop. Don't go to McDonald's. Don't go to Burger King. Eat your local... Go to support your local restaurant. If they people, the same people that are eating this processed corporate food, it's all factory would go farm. to their yeah. local restaurants of a much better quality sure. and paying the same price, the country would turn around. A lot of the locals, by the way, get their produce from the local farmer's market. So you're, you're helping sustain a chain of things which is only invigorating your community. If even half of the people would go to a local restaurant. By the way, there are flourishing, flourishing businesses that are growing during these difficult times because that's exactly what they're doing. The 20% that Gerald is talking about could be all the difference in the world to what we have left here in this country. We'll be right back.